It looks a lot like the four button layout, the 557S, but some of the changes we've made is to a touchscreen. Right? And you can use the touchscreen or the buttons as you can see here. We've got a four color palette layout as well on the screen to give it a little bit more, you know, pop, if you will. And then you can select with the button or this uh, touchscreen here. So it, I've selected evacuation. So working with the vacuum pump is much easier because you can actually select, instead of using the arrow buttons up and down, you can actually select the, the numbers and put in your target for vacuum. One of the biggest features there is the touchscreen operation. Of course, you don't have to use the touchscreen and still use the buttons as well. It does have a primary uh, lithium ion battery rechargeable. Oh, nice. We had the backup for the AA batteries as well. Oh, wonderful. So, so does that it. auto change over? So yeah, that so if, yeah. the, if the lithium ion rechargeable battery dies, then it switches over, does it indicate that on the screen somewhere? Yeah, so you got, so this one, as you can see, the lithium ion battery is dead. So perfect example, but my double A's are charged up there, right? Why would a tech get this over one of the other uh, products that you already have yeah, on the market? Great. Um, well, really it's all about, you know, the latest, greatest, the extra ability to have the dual power charging. Yeah. There is a data logging function as well here. Because usually that was only available on your the 570, your commercial which, which, style. Yeah, product. so the 570 yeah. is no longer does no no longer exists. So okay. the data logging function is here on this model now. 